Good morning. It's Sunday, and I love Sundays because it's my little reset day. That's the day I really do try to sec set myself up for success for the upcoming week. I really do like getting my life in order when it comes to a Sunday, and I do like to do a little bit more of a rigorous cleaning. So it's still in maintenance mode. However, I do try to get a little bit more specific. So I do a room at a time. So this is the first room I've done. Especially now that I have Mia, she's a Husky German mix. And Huskies, I don't know anything about. German Shepherds, they shed so much. And that is so true for Mia. She sheds a ton. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you. Go blow your nose, please. Perfect. Yep, how I would have done it too. So I like to clean as often as I possibly can. So I did all the carpet. I did my little carrot. Oh shoot, I forgot to fold that. I like vacuum, vacuumed the couches. I picked up the cushions, vacuum underneath there. I fluffed them. So this area technically is clean. <sighs> and it was quite a bit. Oh, and I cleaned Mia's room, what I like to call Mia's room. So this is Mia's room. I have a little like area where she could lay down. That's her carpet, that's her bed. I cleaned her bed, I did all of that. I cleaned the tracks, I cleaned the, her door to her room. What are you barking at? Cut it out, Mia, he doesn't wanna play. Yeah, I cleaned her door, I cleaned the tracks. I didn't sweep, however, I do vacuum. I just, I, we get the house deep cleaned every, Two, every other week, so two times a month, it gets full deep clean because we're not the neatest people, you know what I'm saying? Mama. Okay. How did that happen? Okay, let's see. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, sorry for ending that abruptly. <sighs> it's a permanent marker. And I have done a good job. I'm still scrubbing it as we speak. Um, it, a lot of it has came out. This isn't the first time. We get a little bit of permanent marker. There's another like pink stain in my bathtub. Honestly, it's not that big of a deal. It really isn't, but I just wish I knew what to use to get it off. I think, I'm like, I mean, it, it's pretty good. You guys saw how like deep of a purple that was. Oh shit, you can't even see it on camera, but it's there. You can't tell too much because there's all this veining from the stone itself. It ain't a big deal, but damn. You have to act quick with these bullfugs. Or else it like really absorbs the color and then it won't come out. Okay, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so, you okay? I think Mia wants to play, just tell her no. Yeah, don't even look at her. Um, so I didn't sweep, I don't sweep because it just takes such a long time, but I do vacuum and just that area that I told you, this is all the gunk it picked up. That's just one little area, dude. Can you imagine what the rest of my house is gonna look like? And this is literally just maybe one week of not cleaning. I feel like I'm eating this stuff. I feel like it's like all over me. So yeah, I'm excited to do a slight deep clean. What? What's funny? You don't want to play with their show. Play it by herself, huh, Mia? That, all that stuff down there is shit Mia's brought over. Look at all her toys. Yep, those are all her toys over there. It's like some hoof or a horn of some sort. That's all Mia. She came in through her door. She's on her bed, in her room. Big cutie girl. And she doesn't help, because she plays out in that dirt, and she brings most of it back in. But she's so cute. <laughs> oh, she's, she's out again. Big dummy. So this is one cool feature of the house that I just can't wait till spring rolls around so that I can completely use it. Today's actually a pretty good day. It's 50 degrees out, but it feels like a cool low 60s. Look at this. I can open up my back sliding door the whole way. And then Taika is fighting with Mia. Uh, this side does the exact same thing, but because I have... 
she came back inside. But because I have her sliding door, it's like an addition. I didn't want to permanently change our door. So I did have to add kind of like a stop here. So I can't use it unless I remove the door, which if we ever do have like a, if we ever have a gathering, then for sure I'll move it. But for now I don't need to, cause look at this. It's gorgeous, look at that. The whole back is open. So can you imagine, once we have our pool done? He annoys him. She annoys him so much, as if you can't tell. But yeah, can you imagine how beautiful it's gonna look once the pool's done? This is like the front door. This is your view. Hey, how are you guys? And you walk in, you're like, holy crap, that's beautiful. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so now I have moved into the office. And before we had any blinds, um, we had these windows that we couldn't close because again, we didn't have any blinds or shades or whatever you want to call them. Um, but we would film our podcast or we do film our podcast from here in the daytime. So as you can see here, the lighting is not the best, right? So when the background or the lighting behind you is really bright, you're not going to see the image in front. Like it's going to look really dark, but here you see the difference. So that's optimal. <clears throat> so because of that, I got like this, like film that you can place over the window as you can see here. You see how it's like blurry. So it's like this frost film that you could put on it. I was able to take it off without a sticky residue on this side, but the sticky residue stayed, like this is all sticky. So to combat that, I have this thing called Gooby Gone and it is so dope. You spray it on, you wait a few minutes, and then it says, supposedly, you can remove it with a clean, a, ta uh, a clean air with soap. Okay, apply the Gooby Gone. Okay, so blot it. So, okay, so you can clean the air with soap and water. That's not true, at least for not this type of adhesive. What I did find was the same tool that I used to apply that film, which is this, to take out all the air bubbles. I use it just to scrape off the adhesive and you'll see what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna spray it on and then I'm gonna wait like maybe five minutes and then I'm gonna start scraping it off and you'll see how easy it comes off. Okay, so I'm standing on top of Papa's desk, don't tell him. Anyway, now I'm gonna start spraying the area with this gooby gones. Oh God, and it gets all over the place. It really is like this oily, at least it smells great, it smells like oranges, but it's super oily and slimy. And you do want to saturate the area for sure. Because it's gonna make your life easy. It's like it's kind of eating it up already, huh? Get off you bitches. Okay, so I'm gonna let that marinate for a bit. Why are some like super see-through, and then some areas are not. I wanna know that. Pretty crazy how like as soon as I started spraying it, like you can see through it. Okay, so I'm gonna let it marinate for a bit and then I'll start the taking off process. Okay. Okay, check this out. Look at this. So that's all the adhesive. Look. And now it just starts coming off. Pretty fucking gross, but very satisfying at the same time. Look at that. Okay, I gotta scrape this shit off, but it is amazing. Okay, so this is about 10 minutes worth of work. I did one initial pass and I cleared out all the ones that just kind of came off at a first swipe. And then with the residue, I sprayed it again. I wait for another five minutes and then this is kind of my halfway point of all of that. Look at all this. The goo. It's so gnarly and nasty, but this is after the second pass. And then this is me kind of going back and trying to clean it again. Let's see if this looks better, mm, kind of. But it is spotty, whereas this side, it's way more clear. All those spots are actually on the other side of the, of the glass, but. It's a miracle worker. So, if there's anything that you have that has glue or gum or anything, you're like, fuck, I gotta throw it away. No, you don't. You just gotta get some motherfucking gooby gum.
but yeah, almost done. And we are done. It came off like a breeze. Definitely had to do a little bit of work there, but considering how sticky it was, it was actually pretty easy. Okay, let me put you on something else. So now you know about Gooby Gone, a superior glass cleaner that you need to have that's better than Windex, it's better than anything you've ever used, is Glass Cleaner by Sprayway. This thing is literally streak free. It's the best I have ever used. I have like 10 of these bottles in my house. It is the best. Get this one. Okay, the cleaning continues. Let's keep going. But I'm just so stoked that's done because it kept bu bugging me every time I was in here. But yes, clean. So ah! now we are at McDonald's getting lunch and as the food gets made, I got Taika somewhere in there. Where are you? Oh, okay, well, he's in there somewhere. This thing is pretty bad ass. Oh, there you are. Okay, go, go back down, go. See you later. Dun, dun, dun. So Taika had his play date at McDonald's. Now it's Mia's turn. Hey, you're gonna go up the hill, pay attention. Dude, you gotta pay attention when you drive, okay? You can't just press go. Go that way where it's where it's flat. Okay. Come on, Mia. This guy's eating an apple pie while driving the one head. Okay then pause. Don't drive. Don't drive. There's a lot going on all the time with this guy. Like, when I think we got it all under control. Something happens, like his pie broke all of a sudden, and now he can't drive because it's gonna get all over the place. I don't even know how that happens. I don't even understand. So, in the meantime, me's gonna get some little play time. Taika, that part's gonna fall. Okay, hold on, I gotta tend to this guy because it's. A, I don't even know how this happened. I'll be right back. All right, potential crisis averted. Taika's back. We put the apple pie in the box. We're good. Mia's out exploring. Huh, Mia? Huh, Mia? You have a good time? Yeah. You have a good time? Go off and be a dog. Go be wild. You're free. Can you? No, 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 no. No. Just drink and then move later. Every day. I do that multiple times a day just to... You know. Did you put the lid on it? Okay. Heavy. Yeah, it's no. heavy. No, I'm good. Thanks. Hold it, please. Whoa, this is super heavy. Oh, it's like a big old nut and bolt. The conditions were too bumpy for Taika on this side. So this is the only way it's going to work. What? Oh, very cool. Bamboo stick? Yeah, there's two of them. Yeah, I was trying to make him go on that way and somehow... I had to pull this thing over this hump. It doesn't seem steep by any means. God damn, that was tiring. Mia, come. Good girl. Yep. I can, I can like that too. I feed it to me. Yeah, well, those are dry. I don't think you can feed it to them anymore. Monkey, what did you say? No, that's not what you said. You said something about your car. Oh, yeah. No, you didn't say that either. You said my car looks so cool. Yes, he did. You said my car looks so cool. Are you embarrassed? Oh, okay. Well, then he didn't say that. He totally said that. You're gonna kill people with spikes? Okay, let's go kill her. All right, let's go, super villain. Yeah, drink some. You're thirsty. Good girl, Mia. Thank you for waiting. This was supposed to be for you, but somehow we made it about Taika again. <laughs> Hurry up, you little super villain. That's what you like to be called, right? You don't want to be the hero, you want to be the villain? Yeah. Okay, good job. I'd be, I'd be pretty bad. Pretty bad nah, you're alright. Okay, you're spilling your Gatorade everywhere. Okay, another oh. crisis. One second. Taka gets so annoyed by Mia, and all she wants to do is just play with him. 
Look at her. She fucking asks for it. Huh? <laughs> you look like a fucking cartoon character. Look at her. <laughs> she wants all the smoke. We just trying to get all that smoke. She's gonna get it. Oh, that bitch is in the pool. He just threw dirt on himself. <laughs> there she is right in front of him like, what, what are you gonna do now? What are you gonna do now? What are you gonna do now, huh? I told him to come inside to take a nap like 10 minutes ago, honestly. He got distracted. Let's come in and take a nap. We really do feel like naps and just getting a sufficient amount of sleep, which is about 10 hours for this guy. Um, has helped him not get a seizure. So far we're going into three months, no seizures, whereas prior to this, it was a seizure every month. So, well, good track record. Over there. Right there. Right there. Yep. Now I'm tackling my bedroom. Clean clothes, folded, stacked on top of my luggage that I took with me to Austin. Hangers that we have extra of that I need to find a place to put it This is on top of a box because I don't want it touching the floor even though I vacuumed before I put anything on the floor Washing my bed <laughs> There's a lot going on you guys <laughs> Trying to organize all the bullshit that I have that I'm like, okay at this point. I'm just fucking hoarding so I'm fortunate enough to where I get PR packages from companies that want to send me stuff they want me to try it out or, you know, potentially promote it to you guys or pass it on to you guys if I like the product. And I've stopped doing that now for a year. I don't want to take on any more PR packages because maybe even two years now at this point, because I think it's just a waste. I think it's a waste of like, I'm grateful and I appreciate it, but they send you so much. Like if they come out with a new foundation, you get the whole thing of foundation and I'm like, Okay, I only have like two friends. Like who am I gonna give these other 24 shades up? And it just feels very, very, very uh, uh, wasteful. So if anything, I'll just buy the product. And if I like the product, I'll share it with you. Other than that, I refuse to take anything else on just because I ain't a beauty guru. I ain't that type. I'm not using it on a daily basis. I, hello? You know what I'm saying? So because of that, I still have like an abundance of things that I've had for the past couple of years now because Fucking no surprise, I can't get to it because it's just so much. And I know I sound like I'm complaining, but I'm definitely not. Um, I just want to like be like, I have way too much. And it's dope that I have family members and friends that are always so down to take it. Um, so that's what I'm doing. I'm putting it in piles of like hair, face, sun stuff, makeup. Uh, dude, want to know what one of my hobbies was? Uh, when the pandemic first struck and we were on lockdown. Who else got into Gel X nails and doing their own nails because everything was obviously closed. Yep, I have the whole set, baby. I have everything you can think of. I even got this thing and I was so happy because it was just so fucking cute. But yeah, I don't do that shit anymore. But if we want to have a Gel X party, shit, I'm bringing all the shit because Fucking it. Look at how many extensions I got. <laughs> yeah. Um, I have way too many. So, if you, do, if you want me to do your nails, hit me up. I'm fucking pro at this shit. But, yeah, this is where we're at. And at the same time, I'm trying to watch Taika. Because I told his ass not to go into the pool anymore. Don't go in the pool! I already told you, get out! So yeah, the excavation has happened and now the pool, they've kind of like put the steps in where all that stuff is at. <laughs> he looks so cool, him and his dog. What? Huh? Let me see. How do I open this shit? Watch out. <laughs> is that a Like 
so this high is so cool. Like so high hey, um, didn't I tell you not to go in that pool? No, because I did hurt you. Yes, I left the door open and I told you don't climb on the thing. Remember, and you were using the sticks to get out. Oh. Yeah, I told you don't climb in there because it's really loose. The 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 dirt is really loose there, and you could get really hurt. Did you hear me now? What did I say? Yeah, I heard you. Dude, don't go in the pool. Uh, what did I say? Don't go in the pool. Okay, see you later. Go play. Hi, Mia. Play. Don't come in here. Ow! She's like... <laughs> she's very close cool to a pool. Look. No, no, no. She said it. She said it. Mama. Get out. Can I talk to you about Mia? Get out. You know what's disgusting about yeah. Mia? Mia just ate her poop. Like, Did you eat your poop? Yeah. Disgusting. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Her fucking paws are full of dirt. Get out of here. Mia. Where is she? Mia. Mia. Are you sure? Yeah. Where? Don't say that word. No! Go outside! You're full of dirt! Go outside! Come on, come on! Go outside! Go outside! Go outside! Go! Go outside! Go outside! Good girl! Smart girl! Come on! Come on! Mia! No! Do not force it closed! Do not close it! I'll close it! Hey! Oh my god. Is this cool or what? Well, that's a lot of big diarrhea poop. That's a lot of diarrhea poop. I'm happy she does it in one spot now. Remember when she used to do it outside of our door? Yeah. She's, I think she's going to come back in. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. She used to poop right there. And it was the worst, and I trained her. So now I'm really happy that she poops over here. What is she doing? What is he doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Are you eating? <laughs> That's so cute. There is no better feeling than clean sheets. This is my favorite. I'm still washing my, if you don't know. Bart and I have different body temperatures and we prefer to sleep with very different temperatures. So I'm a very cold person, so I have to sleep with two covers. He's a very hot person, so I have to sleep with one. Right now, since we're in the thick of winter, um, he uses this that's a little bit thicker. He swears that it just it's so hot. So I'm washing that too. Now more than ever, because we have Mia and she loves jumping on the bed, I have to wash it everything, like every single week. like cannot go over a week because then just the hair grosses me out. But we got the young tykes taking a shower. And look who decided to join the party. The man himself who just drove four hours but has had such a busy three days shooting long days of JK News. Anytime I'm tired, I can feel how heavy my eyes are. Damn. My and days, you're cooking? You want me to do it? No, it's okay. My days are long. I start at... Nine? Shoot, no, since we shoot at nine now, I start my days at five so I can train. Damn. So I'm tired, but I'm looking pretty good, though. Have you're looking really lean. Reels? Have you seen my DMs? No, I've been driving. Oh. But you're still texting me? Sending me all, like, songs and shit? I love you so much. Man. All right. Okay, so... The guy is back. Makes me really happy. Um, but because I've been on like a cleaning frenzy, just because of all the dog hair, I just didn't have time to go to the grocery store, so I'm so happy that I live in an era where they bring the groceries to you. So, Mia's ready for her day. I'm gonna start my cut tomorrow, actually. What happened? Oh. 
I start my cut tomorrow, so I started buying all of my cut foods. So I saw this rice, I don't know how good it is, but right rice, I hope it's not bad. It has two fat and 10 grams of protein, boy. And then I got my little monkey some fruits. He loves strawberries. I shouldn't even say fruits, because it's not fruits. He just likes strawberries and apples. I washed them yet? Washed what? Any of the fruits? No, not yet. What, you want some? Yeah, I'm kind of thirsty. Do you want water? No, I want some fruits. Okay, which ones do you want? The grapes. Okay, I got you. I got this. I got him his, excuse me, Mia. She's like waiting for any little thing to drop. Um, I got some spinach, some roast frozen veggies. I got some cucumbers. I make this with uh, the seasoning. <laughs> excuse me. Excuse me. Uh. <laughs> excuse me. Uh. <laughs> um, I got some portobello mushrooms. Never made these before, but it looks promising. Especially, so I like the mushroom flavor when it comes to lean meats that I have to eat when I'm cutting because it just makes my meat taste a little bit beefier, if that makes sense, without the fat. Um, and then I got some asparagus. Oh, and Tyga's milk, did I say that? Yeah, ready to rock. Got the fair life for the high protein. What else? Didn't get any junk food, so that's okay. But I had my fair share, like today, I had McDonald's. This is Taika's half-eaten apple pie. Even Taika, he's gonna start eating healthier. Like anytime we go on a cut, the whole family goes on a cut together. For the most part. But uh, Papa's been doing it now for how long? A month? <laughs> no. Two months? About a month and a half now. What was so funny? I don't know what was so funny about that. I think you always think I'm always getting started, but. I mean, it looks like it's been a month, maybe even two weeks. So I think he's been cutting for like two weeks. He's still flexing. Um, yeah, I don't know what was so funny. Anyway, look at this little tomato paste. I didn't know it was gonna come this small. I also didn't know this was gonna come this small, but I mean, whatever, it'll last her for the week, so we should be good. My little cute girl, I love her so much. Yeah, and on that note, I'm gonna go check on Taika, make sure he's all right. It always scares me a bit to have him take a shower on his own, especially because he's epileptic. Epileptic, so I never wanna risk it. So I'm gonna go see, he's good. He's probably getting into trouble. What? Nothing, what are you doing? I'm just my hair. Okay, say goodnight. Am I gonna put the camera on you? Just say goodnight everybody. Okay, he doesn't want to. All right, well anyway, on that note, I got a lot of shit to do. Good night everybody. See you tomorrow, bye bye.